I know every time I try to uh, build some curiosity for all of us. Siempre trato de que haya un poco de curiosidad en las prédicas. Uh, today, uh, the title of my message is, is simple. El título es sencillo. Following at dot dot dot. Siguiendo a. So, uh, we have um, the, the, the age we live in. We are, we are, uh, uh, our profile is counted by this. Like in, in, when you go to a job, and they'll always check how many links you have, how many people are following, and all those kinds of things. Yeah. Some of us might say, oh, I don't, <laughs> I, don't ha I don't have any such things. Yeah. Yes, I agree. But in corporate world, that's what they, are, they, they check. But forget about jobs. Even for us, for, 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 for us, we create this thing. Uh, how, how many things we are following, how many people we are following, or how many things we are sub subscribed to, and how many people are following us. We, we live in this virtual world. Uh, some of your parents uh, might say, oh, I don't care for that. Whether you do care for it or not, I want you to know this thing. Youngins are going after it. If you want to monitor what they are doing, you better get acclimated with it. Otherwise, you would be way behind and they'll just run over you with your lack of knowledge. So, today I just want us to be exposed to something from the biblical point of view. Trust me, I'm not here to promote Facebook or Twitter. As a matter of fact, I don't have a Facebook account. My wife is the one who does everything for me. Uh, but <clears throat> this statement, following up, este, este punto de vista, siguiendo a alguien, you know, you can fill up the gap. Tú lo que falta, lo que Today I want to show some things from the Bible. Que algo en la Are we following what we need to follow? Lo que e seguir? Every one of us know this thing that, oh, every Christian knows we need to follow Jesus. Todos if every one of us know we need to follow Jesus, why people around us hate Christians? Not because we are following Christ, but because we are following our flesh under the name of Christ. People look at us from, from what we are doing but those actions are being influenced by our flesh rather than Jesus Christ who is our Lord. Today I want to break it down for us. I, I'm not trying to change the whole life. If, if this word that is coming to you if this can change one instance in your life, one issue in your life, I think the word has fulfilled. But that's not the only, uh, only thing the word can do. When the word comes to us, it comes to us to change our life. Life is full of events. La vida está llena de if you change one event si tú un evento, and keep changing other, other things otras cosas, you are changing life estás tu vida. you know the Britishers had a wonderful uh, 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 rule in their uh, mind when they were conquering all the nations their principle is to divide and conquer. When they came to India, the Indian nation 
la nación de la India. And the population is way, way bigger than the British population. But they were successful in, in conquering us. You know the principle they use? Divide and conquer. There are multiple kingdoms in there. So they would go part with one kingdom partner with one kingdom and then they will go against the other kingdom. By this time they have two kingdoms under them. So they kept on increasing like that. And finally they became the rulers of India. I know it is a bad incident to compare with but I want us to understand the principle there when you divide you can conquer it easily when you try to fix your whole life it, it will be very challenging but if you try to focus on one thing at a time one issue of you at a time your success rate increases today I want you to be encouraged in this divide and conquer what, what are we dividing? dividing the, 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 the lies of the devil the plans of the evil the attacks of evil we are trying to divide it instead of trying to attack all of them trying to fix our life all in one instance how many of you want your life to be fixed all in one, one instance we want it to be done. I'm, I'm done with my life. Boom. I'm, I'm, I'm all fixed. But we always fall short. Because we are trying to handle way too much in one packet. I think it is time for us to be smart. You know, we, 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 we respect hard work so much. <laughs> now we are living in an age where smart work prevails hard work. I'm, I'm not neglecting hard work. We still need hard work. But we can do the hard work smart, smart way. Attacking the devil is hard work. But let us do it smartly. That's why God called us to be wise. I'm sending you to I'm sending you into in the midst of the wolves. And, and I am calling you to be serpents and doves. The, the dough represents the purity and innocence and all that. That, that, part is, that part is fine. The one thing that always gets me is the serpent. Why does Jesus need us to be a serpent? You probably never had this experience. But I had this experience one too many times. A snake coming into your house. No matter what you put against it. If, if you leave a snake in this room. No matter how many things you put as a hurdle. It will always find a way around it. It will always, if, if it hits the, hits the wall, it immediately turns around. It, it is always looking for that exit. It is trying to be smart. Now enough of these people trampling on us. Enough of this way, world's weight putting, pulling us down. It is time for us to take up this responsibility of being smart 
es nuestra responsabilidad de ser sabios and find our exit out. y buscar nuestra forma de How many of you know God did not create trouble for us? ¿Cuántos saben que Dios no creó los problemas para nosotros? If you do not believe that, si tú no crees eso, I don't think you should be in the church. No creo que tú estar aquí. I'm just playing, you know. But <laughs> trouble is not created by God. Los no por Dios. God created life, Dios creó vida, not death. No God created prosperity, not creó lack. No falta de God created healing, not sickness. Whenever sickness comes, don't, I don't want you to look upon God. Cuando venga la enfermedad, no busques, no, no busques, um, look up, look up on God for healing, not complaining why I got this no sickness. A Dios para de por qué soy enfermo, sino busca a Dios para que pidas tu milagro. Because in the first place, He never gave them to you. Porque para empezar, Él no te dio esa enfermedad. You are asking for somebody uh, an accountability for which He didn't create. Tú estás pidiéndole a él que te dé una respuesta que él ni siquiera creó. He doesn't have an answer for it. Él no tiene una respuesta. But the answer he has is by his stripes. Lo que la respuesta de él es por mis llagas. We are healed. Hemos sido sanados. So let's hold on to that. Vamos a pensar y quedarnos con esto. It is time for us to become smart. Es tiempo de que seamos sabios. Understand our enemy. Entender lo que hace el enemigo. Instead of living in confusion, understand and divide that guy. Divide his strategies. We need to understand who is our enemy. When the attack is trying to come to us, we need to understand where is this coming from. When we do not understand the fact that the enemy is trying to attack us, we take a passive position on it. We don't try to attack against it. When you understand it is the enemy that is trying to come, steal, kill and destroy, then we will fight against it. Today I want us to be warriors. Not somebody who sits passively in, in, in their chair and think, oh man, that's good. No, no gente que se queda sentada y decir, bueno, ya, pues, ya, uh, oh, pra, pastor, down, brother. Oh, pastor, por favor, it, it doesn't make any difference in our life. No, eso no hace diferencia en nuestra vida. Unless we start using it in our lives. Hasta que no empezamos a usar las estrategias Amen? en nuestra vida. Amen. Let's get into the word today. This is just an intro. Go, <laughs> go with me to the gospel according to St. John. Starting, uh, starting from verse 1. This is the whole story, verse 1 to 42. I don't want, I don't want to read the whole thing for you, for, for time's sake. But I, I, I will start. Therefore, when the Lord knew that Pharisees had heard that Jesus made and baptized more disciples than John, Though, John, though, though Jesus himself did not baptize but his disciples, he left Judea and departed to Galilee. But he needed to go through Samaria. Now, where did he start from? He started from Judea and he is going to Galilee. You're with me? But he needed to go through Samaria. Now, how many of you want a miracle from God? Right? You want something to be done from God. But many times you have to go through some marriage. God, I never signed up for this trouble. I never asked for this problem to come into my life. I never asked for this resistance to come into my life. I never asked for this opposition to come into my life. All I wanted was for me to move from Judea to Galilee. And I know it is your will for me to be in Galilee. Like I mentioned a moment ago, by, 
By his stripes we are healed. Por sus llagas fuimos curados. That, that healing is available for us. La, la sanidad es disponible para nosotros. Healing is the will of God. La sanidad es un propósito de Dios. But sometimes we have to go through Galilee before you get to healing. Pero muchas veces tenemos que pasar por Galilea antes de ser sanados. I want to say some more. Quiero decirles algo. It is not sometimes. Most of the times you have to go through Samaria to go to Galilee. Sino siempre hay chance que tengas que ir y pasar. None of us signed up for it. Ninguno de nosotros quiso que estuviera. We never desired that place. Nunca quisimos pasar por este lugar. But we go through. Pero, pero que But I want you to know something from this story today. One of the most astounding miracles that ever took place in Jesus' ministry was while he was on his way. Most amazing miracles happened while he was on his way. When you, when you think of blind Bartimaeus, he wasn't going to blind Bartimaeus, he was met on his way. When, when you think of the woman with the issue of blood, she was met all the way. We always do not want on the way. But on the way is where God's glory is getting ready to manifest in your life. You know the reason I'm sharing this with you? Some of you are on your way. Some of you are on your way. Turn to your neighbor and say, I am on my way. See, when you are on your way, you're getting ready to see God's glory. You don't need to go to Galilee. Your miracle is on the way. That, that is what I want us to get hold of today. How we can experience this on the way miracle. For me, this, this is a drive through miracle. I don't have to go inside. All I need to do is order, order from outside and I got my food. Whenever we, we, we are going through, look at it as a drive through miracle. You, you're about to receive a drive through miracle. I think you're not getting it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get ready for that drive through miracle. Now this Jesus was moving from Judea to Galilee. But he needed to go through this Samaria. And when he is going through Samaria. That's what I like about Jesus. He doesn't go through empty. He makes sure things are changed. And change is coming into your life. Amen. Come on, give God some glory. Hallelujah. All right. See this thing. He came to the city of Samaria, which he called Sychar, near the plot of ground of Jacob gave to his son Joseph. Now jo J Jacob's well was there. Jesus, therefore, being weary from his journey, sat thus by the well. It was about the sixth hour. A woman of Samaria came to draw water. Jesus said to her, give me a drink. Now that's the most amazing statement. Samaritans are not part of Jewish culture. They are actually outcasts. They don't have anything to do with Jews. And Jews doesn't have anything to do with these people. In, in other words, they are untouchables. Now Jesus is going to this land. Not only he is going to that land. A Jewish man is never supposed to talk with a woman other than his wife. In a public square, in a public, he is talking to a woman. Not even a Jew, but a woman 
Era mujer, that is a Samaritan. Y que era and that woman is not even a nice person. If you read her story, si tú lees su historia, she had six husbands before this man. Ella tenía, tuvo seis maridos antes que el hombre that, que estaba con ella. That's what Jesus says. Es lo que dice Jesús. That means she had issues. Y cuando tenía algún problema, you know, no, 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 this woman had so many issues, so much of baggage in her life. Now, Jesus is talking to this woman. Any Jew, if, he had, if they had seen Jesus, they have every right to stone him. But he didn't care. Now he is sitting there, standing there at the well. I just want to make another point. If you studied the, the verse before this, this, this is a well dug by Jacob for Joseph. Many times God asks us to do something you may not see what it could do in your life. When did jo J Jacob dig this well? Hundreds of years ago. Now, Jesus is performing a miracle there. No matter what you do in the sight of God, under the obedience of God, he has a way to work it out. He has a way to bring it, bring something great out of it. It doesn't matter. What matters is your obedience to him. Now Jesus stood here. This woman, he is asking this woman, give me some water. He already knows where this woman is coming from. He knows all his all her issues. As we go down the story, we hear all. He reveals everything about her. He already knows everything about her. At, he was reaching out to her for his need. Today I want you to know this thing. He knows what all the issues you have. He knows what all the infirmities you have. He knows what all the weaknesses you have. He knows what all the issues you have. Yet, yet he wants to reach out to you saying, give me a drink. Can you do this for me? Can you help me with this? He is not looking for you to be perfect. He is looking for you to be willing. If you are willing and obedient, what does the word of God declare? You shall eat the good of the land. Is there somebody here excited about the good of the land? That is coming upon you. That is coming upon you because of your willingness. And this woman, when Jesus reached out to this woman, give me this drink. And, and he, she was still in her... She, right now, she is experiencing the first stage of Jesus. First stage, encounter. Primero... This lady was encountering Jesus. All of us had an encounter with Jesus. The day we said, Jesus, come into my heart, that is our encounter with him. Remember this, he came to us, we didn't go to him. He, he shed his love for us. He shed his blood for us. He died for us. He made everything. First steps are made by him. He gave himself to us. Now we are opening our doors to him. When we opened our doors to him, we are, we are having an encounter with him. Now many of us are stopping there. Today I want us to go further. Encounter shouldn't stop you. Encounter should start you. Encounter is your starting point. 
el encuentro con Jesús es el principio. The moment you received the jolt from him, en el momento en que you started your life. You became a born again Christian. And when you are born again, your journey starts. All right, now the journey started here. When this journey started, Jesus never condemned this lady. You and me. How many times we try to condemn people? Now I'm telling you. I know, I, 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 you, you can hate me, I'll be stepping on some of your toes, I'm, I'm all right. I love you. How many times we try to judge people? How many times we try to condemn people? Because we came to know a small truth about them. Porque conocemos o pensamos que conocemos algo pequeño de ellos. I want you to know this thing. Quiero que sepan algo. That woman. Esta mujer. And that man you're condemning. Y la mujer que tal vez estés condenando. The truth that you know about him or her. La verdad que tú conoces acerca de él o de ella. Is nothing in comparison to the truth that God knows about him or her. Es nada comparado a lo que Dios conoce su vida. In spite of that, he still loves them. Y a pesar de eso, él sí los él los sigue amando. Now let us walk away from this condemnation. When we stop condemning others, we will stop condemning us. This day we live in a time where women are under stress so much. They try to self-condemn themselves. The, the demand of life is falling upon them so much. I'm not excluding men from this. But, but I have a much inclination for women in that line because I live with a woman. They're trying to condemn themselves. We need to be free from that. As Jesus has set us free. And this woman encounters the same thing. How are you asking me water? I'm a woman. And I'm a Samaritan. I'm an outcast. We ain't got anything in common. That's what this woman is thinking. But Jesus is thinking differently. Oh, you and me have a lot in common. We share the same blood. Our blood. We all have the same blood, the blood of Jesus. Amen? You with me? <laughs> all right. The, this woman goes on and has this and, 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 and from encounter she moves to the next level experience. Esta mujer se movió del encuentro a obtener una experiencia. I'm, I'm so, uh, I mean like when I read this story cuando yo leí esa historia the story is done in five minutes. Yo la leí y en cinco minutos terminó la historia. But I wish my miracles are done in five minutes. Pero a mí me gustaría que mis milagros también fueran en cinco minutos. But sometimes it takes five years. But sometimes it might take 50 years. But it shall surely come to pass. Now, this, this 50 years or five years or five days or five minutes, that experience part is what I am talking about today. I want, I want us to focus on gaining experience with Jesus today. And that's where are we following Jesus. Today. My, my, my title again, are we following Jesus? Jesus today. We are trying to follow every single thing that is happening in this world. We follow news channels. We, we, we follow our friends. Uh, we follow everything. More than anything, we follow our flesh. And that experience is killing us. Today Jesus is here after his encounter trying to give you an experience from his side. 
Jesus was trying to change her, 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 her identity and her perception. He, her, her imagination is changing here. She starts her story with this thing. Now she says, uh, um, uh, when Jesus asked, asked her for the water, uh, Jesus answered and said to her, If you knew the gift of God and who it is who says to you, Give me a drink, you would have asked him and he would have given you living water. How many of us think that we need to come to rescue for Jesus? When we need to rely on Him as our source. We try to meet Jesus' needs. Oh, Jesus wants me to do this thing. Oh, I need to do this for Jesus. Oh, I can't be like this. All these things we are trying to do on our own strength. When we need a filling from Him to do what He has called you to do. This, this is what I'm, I'm tapping into. We need this experience. The, this woman was always looking at the physical well and the physical water. She, in her thoughts, she is always looking at the physics. It is time for us to move out of physics and get into the spirit. We need to move out of it. Go, go with me to the next verse, please. Uh, Galatians 5.25. And I'm going to read this thing. If we live in the spirit, let us also walk in the spirit. If we live in the spirit, let us also walk in the spirit. How many of us, we proclaim that we are Jesus's and we try, we still try to walk in our flesh because we are not going through this experience with him where he can change us from the physical bodies to the spiritual beings he has created us to be. When you were born again, where were you born again? Not in your body. In your spirit. So let us walk in our spirit. Where the Holy Spirit is living. Let us follow his leadership. And the physical agendas need to come off. My plans, my desires, my thoughts, my ambitions. They need to come off. Not my will, Lord, but your will be done in my life. I will choose to follow you. When we are going through that experience, Jesus comes to the word. He says, um, um, and then, then, then the word, he goes on and explain, explains to him. God is spirit. 24th verse. God is spirit. And those who worship him must worship in spirit and truth. In the spiritual terms, worshiping is the same thing as following in the virtual world. We go wherever He goes. We do whatever He does. We stay connected to Him. If He need us to stop doing something, we do that. The Samaritan woman still is struggling. But Jesus is trying to give her an experience. I know you and me have struggled in understanding Jesus. In understanding his ways. But he is willing to explain himself to us. He who has ears, let him hear what the Spirit of the Lord is speaking to the church today. We have ears to hear him. But we are trying to follow our flesh. 
Today we need to gain our experience. If there is one thing that you have in your life that is being challenged, put, that, put this thing into action today. Experience God. Bring Jesus into that issue. Involve Him into that issue. Involve Him into your thoughts of that issue. Involve him into the actions of that issue. He will instruct you. He will give every single detail of it. God is the God of details. Never forget that he is the God of details. He can make it crystal clear to you. Are you willing to hear? Are you willing to yield? I want to declare your trouble is over. Your trouble is over. All you need is experience with him because you are going to Galilee. Samaria is only an experience. Get that experience because you are about to receive the glory of God. We, we need the transformation. When we experience the transformation in our lives, Jesus, Jesus kind of explained everything to her. Then Jesus asked the question, 16th verse, Jesus said to her, go call your husband and come here. The woman answered and said, I have no husband. Jesus said to her, you have well said, I have no husband. For you have five husbands and one of whom you now have is not your husband. In that you truly spoke. The woman said to her, sir, now see this thing, my Bible, my, okay, I'm reading from New King James Version. Sir, I perceive that you are a prophet. Now she is understanding that Jesus is not talking about physics. He is talking about spiritual. That is the experience I am talking about. Where we can move from physics into the spirit. When we move from the physics into the spirit. No matter what you are facing. All the promises of God are A and Amen. They are not A and Amen in the physics. They are A and Amen in the spirit. When we step out of the physics and step into the spirit, there you go, you have your promise right there. And that is changing your life right now. And that changes your situation right now. The word of God has the power to deliver us. The word of God has the power to set our life in a straight line. And the word of God has the power to take us high. When we move from physics into the spirit. You know really the thing that saddens me? Hundreds and thousands of us as Christians, we are still trying to follow Jesus in the flesh. We are so committed to this God. We love Him. Most of us are willing to die for Him. But we are still trying to do it for Him. Instead of receiving it from Him. We need to move away from doing it for him to receiving it from him. This, this woman, her perception completely changed now. I perceive you are a prophet. I perceive you are a man of the spirit. When she got that comprehension, her life changed. And Jesus builds her faith. Jesus changed her persona. Jesus changed everything of her. What you and me lack is that today. An experience with him. When we have an experience with him. Get ready for the next level. The next level is gone. Explosion. It's going to be an explosion out of you. Nothing can contain you. 
algo que es algo que nada te puede sostener. You will come to the place no weapon that is formed against you shall be able to prosper. Every time that shall confess against me that shall I mean like you are going to be the top dog now. Tú vas a tener poder. You don't have to wait for things to change because you're changing things. You, you don't have to wait upon somebody to do some favor to you because you are the one who is going to be blessed to be a blessing. You, people will be seeking your favor because of what God has done in your life. People need you around them. La gente te necesita alrededor de él. Because of the experience you gain from him. Por la experiencia que tú tienes ahora de Jesús. You will become on demand. Tú vas a estar, la gente va a necesitar. And I want you to know this thing. People will be willing to pay more for you. Te quiero decirte algo, que la gente va aún hasta pagar. You know, that's what we do, right? When we have cable, on demand we pay. Por tenemos, por ejemplo, el cable, la gente paga. If you want your paycheck to increase, don't waste your time begging your boss. Sit, sit with Jesus and gain some experience. You will become on demand. And that's something that happened to me just last week. I, dem I, I put a demand, this is what I want. And they gave it to me. Venga, no choice. God wants to put you in a place where you are on high demand. Not because of, not because of your head knowledge. But because of your spiritual knowledge. It is time for us to move away from this head knowledge and move into the spiritual knowledge. When this woman received this experience, she goes and tells everybody, man. Yo, dude. I met this guy. He's so cool, man. He told me everything about my past. No, he didn't. He only told some things to her. But she's all excited about it. Man, this dude knows everything about me. All you and me need is the tiny experience. We will go explore. You know, now this thing comes 39th verse. She goes and talks to everybody. And many of the Samaritans of that city believed in him because of the word of the woman who testified. He told me all that I ever did. We know how to exaggerate things. We know how to make it big. If Jesus does if Jesus does one thing to us, we can just man, that's the craziest thing ever happened, man. And because of her, the people around her are blessed. That explosion happened in her life. When that explosion, many of us want this explosion. We want to be, we want people to see Jesus in us. We, we, we want to see Jesus' power manifesting through us. When we go we want to see the power of God manifesting in our lives. But today, I want us to walk out of the darkness. It is coming through your experience with Jesus. When you go through the experience with Jesus, then you will receive this power. You know, many of us try to dwell in this power. I, as an early Christian, I try to do. I, I, I tried to step into all this spiritual realm, casting the demons, deliverance, and all that stuff. God tells me, son, they are all good. Once you get into the spiritual realm, it is all dark. You, 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 you can't see it with your naked eyes. What did David say? Your word is a lamp 
onto my feet. Mira lo que dijo el, David. La if, palabra, if you want to see clearly in the spiritual realm, si tú ver en lo you need the word. Tú la This is your first teacher. Este es tu When maestro. you get into the word, you can see the spiritual things much clearer. Many people ask me about these spiritual things. How in the world these people can do some or this uh, 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 occult, whatever the, the thing is, whatever uh, uh, spiritual controls they do. Because they're, because they're tapping into the spiritual realm for the wrong souls. They're, they're getting into the wrong source because they're not walking with this. The spiritual realm is very true. El mundo espiritual es verdad. No matter what the science says, don't, don't try to wrap your head around it. No importa lo que digan los, los de la ciencia. Spiritual trial realm is so true. La, el mundo espiritual es verdad. This is the light for us in the spiritual realm. Es la palabra de Dios es la luz para When you have the word, you will understand whom you are connecting to. Cuando tú tienes la palabra, tú entenderás quién está conectado con The spirit of the living God. El Espíritu del Dios Spirit de Dios. of Jesus. El Espíritu de Jesús. Spirit of God Almighty. El Espíritu del Dios We are connecting to that Spirit through Estamos this Word. Con Dios a través de su Amen. Let us have that experience. Vamos a tener esta experiencia. And take it to the next level. Y explosion. A la nivel que es you, explosión you, you don't need to do anything big. No hacer algo this grande. woman didn't do anything big. Did she? No hizo nada she just went and spoke. Ella simplemente fue y your, compartió. Your very words can change people's lives around you. Tus palabras puede cambiar la vida de Your very vida. life, very existence can change people's tu lives around you. Puede cambiar la, a la gente alrededor tuyo. It's all with that experience. Es todo por la experiencia. When we gain that experience, Cuando tengas esta experiencia, we are becoming smart. Vas a convertirte en sabio. We are gaining the wisdom of God. Tenemos, vamos a tener we are gaining the understanding of God. Vamos a entender lo que Dios The more, the more we grow in it, the better our outcomes will be. Don't try to repair your outcome. Repair your experience. When you work on your experience, explosion is an automatic thing. You don't need to do anything big. You know, when Jesus, when Peter was walking on the streets, his shadow healed people. A, a, a man who had issues with anger, man. He didn't hesitate. Like when he was right, right next to Jesus, he chopped the ear off. And a man with issues, but he had his experience with Jesus. When he, was, when he is walking, his experience is walking with him. Yeah. Here comes the healing. You don't need to be phenomenal. Because the God inside of you is already phenomenal. He is full of glory. Let us step into the glory of God today. Amen.